If you're shopping for a toddler car seat for your child, like you're done with the infant car seat stage, then these are two car seats that I would highly recommend. We have the Nuna Rava and the Nuna Exec. They're two amazing car seats and there's some differences between them, there's some similarities between them and I'm going to break it all down for you. And if you're just meeting me, my name's Ellie. I'm a father of three, I own this great company, it's called Magic Beans and I review baby gear, that's what I do. We all do things for a living, don't we? But I happen to make videos about baby products. I didn't think about that when I was a child, but that's what I'm doing today. Um, if you have any questions about these products, you can book a consultation either uh, virtually or in store at mbeans.com slash consultations. Okay, now on to the comparison. Great, so we have the Rava and we have the Exec. One main, main difference is that the Exec is an all-in-one meaning you start from it from newborn and it goes all the way up to booster seat. So it starts at five pounds and goes up to, yes, 120 pounds. The Rava is just a convertible car seat. You can use it from newborn, but you, it only goes up to 65 pounds. So you can't have it in that booster seat mode. What's a booster seat? So seat belts are, are designed for adults four foot nine and taller. So if you're four foot nine and shorter, you need to be in some sort of safety seat in order to make the seat belt fit properly. And the exec, when you move it up into this higher position, I just like raised up the headrest. There's a little purple zone in here and then you could take your, your, um, your shoulder belt, put it through, click in your car seat and basically you're using your seat belt to secure the child, but it's used as a booster seat. Um, some other differences between the Rava and the Exec is in the width. Okay, so let's measure the Exec. When you measure it at the most widest point, it's just about 17 and 17 and a half. 18-ish inches, and when you measure the um, the Rava, it's just over 19 inches wide. So there is really a full inch difference between the Exec and the Rava. So if you're getting three across, it may not fit in all back seats three across, but I think that this is a way more narrow seat. The other thing about this car seat is that it is has this leg rest in the forward facing position, which doubles as a anti-rebound bar or anti-rebound plate in the rear facing position. So when it's rear facing, what you do is you push this gray button here, get it into the blue zone, this blue zone, which is like the rear facing position. You can see it's in that recline in the, in the rear facing. So if you can picture it, your back seat of your car is here you'll sort of put this plate up against it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna stabilize the car seat and limit the rotation of the car seat, which is really awesome. The Rava, on the other hand, has this extended extra leg room in the rear facing position. So it'll give your child two extra inches of leg space when it's in the rear facing position, which is great. Both the Exec and the Rava are flame retardant free and are rear facing to 50 pounds. Having your child rear facing to 50 pounds is really important. I had a grandmother email me. The grandmothers love me. They do, they email me all the time saying, Ali, I love your videos. I'm looking for a car seat for my kid. And I recommended a exec to this grandma yesterday via email because the cool thing about this is that if you have a grandparent with lots of different age grandchildren, like my mother has 10 grandchildren. My oldest is 20. Her youngest grandchild is six months old. So there's a way range and there's so many different kids in between. So she never knows what age, obviously my kids are not in car seats anymore, but the younger, niece, my younger nieces and nephews are younger and she never knows what age kid she needs to be in there. Is it rear facing? Is it forward facing? Do they need a booster seat? But, and she also doesn't want something that is, um, it's too wide when she has other people. She also had a Porsche. That was pretty cool. Anyways, the Porsche SUV. But that's an aside. I like Porsches. What can I say? But this is um, an exec. And so I recommended it for her. So it's a really good all-purpose thing for a grandparent. And most importantly, it is very easy to install. So both the exec and the Rava have very similar installation systems. They are optimized by installing with a cart with a seatbelt. So what you do is you sort of unsnap in here and there are these little doors that you can put your seat belts through. I do a number of different demonstration videos in my full reviews of the Rava and the Exec, which you can watch after this video. I'll put the links below and above so that you can see how to install them. I don't do installation videos, I do demonstration videos just so you know. 
Um, both of them have non-rethread harnesses. Again, when you're in the rear-facing position, you want the, the straps to be at the shoulders and below. And when you're in the forward-facing position, it's at the shoulders and above. There's also great side impact protection on this. There are three levels of side impact protection on this, and also these pods on the back, on the sides here, which pop out the three levels of side impact protection on the on these. If you're looking for more car seats, I do have a playlist, which I'm gonna put a link right below, where you can watch all of my reviews or many of my best reviews of car seats. So you can do even more research about car seats if these are if there are more car seats that you're looking at. I will see you at the next video.